The Dubai Metaverse Strategy is an integrated plan that aims to place the Emirate among the top 10 cities in the world that will shape the future of emerging technology, according to Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, Crown Prince of Dubai, in a tweet on Monday. Hello and welcome to another incredible video from our channel. In this video, we will discuss the Metaverse Strategy to add $4 billion and create over 4,000 jobs in Dubai. But first, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. So, let's get this started. Sheikh Hamdan described the plan as the next technological and economic revolution that will affect all aspects of life over the next two decades. The initiative aims to increase the number of blockchain companies in the metaverse by more than fivefold. Sheikh Hamdan stated that there are currently 1,000 companies in Dubai working in the metaverse with a $500 million contribution to the national economy. We anticipate a significant increase in the coming period, he said. The metaverse is an emerging digital space in which People can interact in virtual worlds using avatars or three-dimensional likeness. It is a component of Web3, the next evolution of the web which includes blockchain, centralization, openness, and increased user utility as core components. According to Canada-based Precedence Research, the global metaverse market will be worth more than $1.6 trillion by 2030, growing at a compound annual growth rate of more than 50% from an estimated $40 billion in 2021. As part of its efforts to develop the future economy, the UAE has taken a number of significant steps to integrate the metaverse and its related technology, including blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and other Web3 innovations, into the economy, government, and society. The Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority, or VARA, of Dubai announced in May that it had established its Metaverse HQ, making it the first regulator to have a presence in the emerging digital space. Vera was founded in March by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Vice President and Ruler of Dubai, under the Dubai Virtual Asset Regulation Law, the Emirates' first law governing virtual assets. The organization's goal is to develop a sophisticated legal framework to protect investors and provide international standards for virtual asset industry management in order to promote responsible business growth in the Emirate. First, Abu Dhabi Bank's payments business unit unveiled Magnati Meta V a metaverse platform designed to give consumers access to the growing experiential e-commerce segment and boost retailer revenue last month. It's the region's first metaverse marketplace platform to run on a company's own blockchain technology and fully integrates the metaverse with traditional payment networks. Kraken, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, announced a partnership with the National Bank of Ras Al Khaimah on Monday to allow UAE investors to trade virtual assets in dirhams through their local bank accounts. According to a May study from Bankless Times, interest in metaverse-related jobs has also increased more than tenfold in recent months, indicating that the once unknown concept is now very much on the radar of the workforce and businesses, according to a May study from Bankless Times. The UAE's Ministry of State for Digital Economy, AI and Remote Working Systems signed a preliminary agreement with the blockchain data platform Chainalysis earlier this month to provide virtual training programs for government entities in the country. Sheikh Hamdan stated that the Dubai Metaverse strategy is critical to the Emirates' goals of becoming one of the Metaverse's leading economies and a major global community hub. The initiative intends to cover all aspects of Metaverse development, from developing regulations and applications to nurturing talent and determining how these solutions can be used by government entities. Sheikh Hamdan said, Dubai was and will continue to be a model for others around the world because Vice President and Ruler of Dubai Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid has demonstrated to the world over and over again the sense of his future and development vision that created Dubai. But what will the metaverse itself, however, live up to the hype? The metaverse is either the promising next frontier of the internet or the most overhyped phenomenon since New Coke, depending on who you ask. There is no doubt that the term which is still vaguely defined and difficult to categorize is in a hype cycle. With the potential to generate up to $5 trillion in value by 2030, the metaverse is too big for companies to ignore, McKinsey boasted in Metaverse Market Report last month. According to the estimates of a U.S. consulting firm, more than $120 billion has been invested in metaverse projects this year. The vast sums of money and flood of talent pouring in to build the metaverse may mean that this connected virtual world will realize its potential. After all, we're still in its early days. But critics argue that low user growth in some of the biggest platforms, ugly interfaces, and a tech pro influence are all casting doubt in this promising new age of the internet. All of this begs the question, can the metaverse survive its hype cycle? But what exactly is the metaverse? If we don't know, we'll let you know. First, the fundamentals. The metaverse connects the physical and virtual worlds, allowing for more realistic work, 
learning, playing, and socializing than most of the web currently provides. It is difficult to define the metaverse precisely because some would argue that participating in a Zoom meeting counts as interacting in the metaverse. After all, you're in a virtual meeting space, interacting with other people. It overcomes the definition's most basic barrier, connecting the physical and virtual worlds. We are in some ways immersed in a virtual world because we constantly scroll and opt into our devices rather than interact with the real world. We already live in the metaverse. We make websites co-founder Alex Oberon wrote in a recent post to his technology blog, web to boomer That is, we live in a world where the internet serves as a single, universal and immersive virtual world. Others, however, argue that this is not quite enough. The metaverse is Zoom on steroids, Clyde D'Souza, a UAE-based creative technologist, told The National. Mr. D'Souza advocates for an immersive metaverse that extends beyond squares on screens. The metaverse, on the other hand, is an interface that connects people in a fully tech-enabled world seen through the lenses of Meta's Oculus or Apple's rumored augmented reality headset. The metaverse, according to Sam Hamilton, creative director at Decentraland, one of the first and largest metaverse development companies, is a further iteration of what we already have. And what we already have is terrible. We spend days staring at small screens scrolling with our fingers, pressing like to show affection to friends, he explained to The National. Growing up, he read Neil Stephenson's Snow Crash, a 1992 dystopian novel widely credited with coining the term metaverse, which describes how avatars become proxies for humanity's social standing and wealth, and how some people choose to live in a virtual reality rather than the physical world. Mr. Hamilton, on the other hand, was inspired by the book to consider how we might have more human experiences in a digital world, which is a more optimistic view of how we might interact with our virtual selves. I think that's ultimately what everyone is looking for in the metaverse, he said. Decentraland is designed for the modern web and can be accessed through any browser rather than as a three-dimensional virtual world. However, Mr. Hamilton stated that this is only a temporary situation. We'll eventually have bodysuits and implants or whatever technology allows us to have a fully immersive experience. We're not there yet, but we're laying the groundwork for the future. How well known is the metaverse? Companies such as Decentraland, The Sandbox, and CryptoVoxels, which tout themselves as metaverses by whatever definition you use, are currently reporting very low monthly active users when compared to their gaming counterparts. Earlier this year, gaming editor Derek Strickland investigated the number of monthly active users. Decentraland is approximately 300,000 visitors, The Sandbox is 30,000, and CryptoVoxels has less than 25,000 visitors to its most popular digital land parcel. In comparison, PlayStation has 111 million monthly active users, while Roblox has nearly 50 million daily users. Where will the metaverse go next? Immersion in a metaverse is still difficult for the time being. Working in particular is a difficult situation. A group of researchers from Coburg University, Cambridge University, the University of Primorska, and Microsoft Research set out to quantify the outcomes of a 40-hour workweek in virtual reality. Rather than experimenting in a virtual world as they had hoped, the setup relied on consumer-level technology. They used a Logitech K830 keyboard with an integrated trackpad and a MetaQuest 2 headset. For comparison, the same subjects performed the same tasks in a traditional PC environment. The test subjects reported a 35% increase in work task load, a 42% increase in frustration, an 11% increase in anxiety, and a 48% increase in eye strain. Productivity was rated 16% lower, and well-being was rated 20% lower. Two test subjects were unable to complete the first day due to migraines, nausea, and anxiety caused by the working environment. Of course, this is how one immerses themselves in virtual reality today. Those who are building the metaverse believe it will get much, much better. But for the time being, even Mr. Hamilton of Decentraland advises caution. We just don't know where this is going to end up, he explained. They should not rush into it because it's currently very popular. This is not always the best way to go about things. And that's all we have for now. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts on the metaverse and the hype surrounding it? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, please tell your friends about it and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. See you in the next video.